Hey there collectors and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxings, statue chats, live entertainment like Rogues Gallery Live, and so much more. My name is Chris and I'm the Batman statue collector and thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this content because we're going to be talking about Batman today with yet another hit or miss video, this time for the one-third scale Val Kilmer Batman Forever Batman statue from our friends over at Prime One Studio. Now, we saw this at the Next Level event. It kind of came out of nowhere. They are actually doing three different versions of characters, including a Chris O'Donnell Robin, but today we're going to be focusing on that main piece. And I have to tell you, from what I've seen so far, it's going to be a major, major hit. Will it end up in the Batcave? That is the really big question that I'm going to, I'm going to be asking myself today. But I did have all of the pre-order information, all of the photos ready to go for you guys. So without further ado, let's take a look. All right, everybody, so here we go. And again, this is a little teaser we got back uh, at the Next Level event from Prime One Studio. And again, this is one third scale. And I have to be honest, guys, this is a very impressive piece to me. Um, I really like what I'm seeing here. It looks actually like they might have changed a few things, just a very slight things with the base uh, since this video went up. Um, but I have a lot of things to say about this piece and I just can't wait to talk about it with you guys. So what we're going to be looking at first is the regular. Now as of the recording of this, we only have the deluxe price. I don't know why Prime One hasn't released that information yet. I will give my prediction as to what the regular price will be. But what we're looking at here is the regular, and the regular is going to be just this incredible sculpt, the beautiful base, clenched fists, no swap outs uh, for the regular as far as I can tell. Um, is the likeness there? That's the number one question with any movie piece. Doesn't matter how good the figure is, is the likeness there? And yes, I do think the likeness is there. I do think this looks like a younger Val Kilmer. Of course, he has had so many health problems lately, it's hard to see him the way uh, he is now, but he is a fighter, he is strong, and this is just reminiscent of him being a strong fighter back in Batman Forever, back in the day. So anyway, I think the likeness is very good. The side profile, it might be a little bit off to me, but again, we only got one film with him, so you know he is not as iconic necessarily as some of the other Batman have been um, over the years. But I do think that this looks very good. There, you can see the bat nipples. Of course, that <laughs> is a big deal with the panther suit. Of course, um, you know lots of jokes about that. But uh, it does look fantastic. I love how sleek this looks. I love the dark black colors. The back of the cowl looks really good. Uh, again, it is going to be a fabric cape, so I believe you could probably uh, pose that however you want. Usually Prime One does that. We have a, a great base here. The only big nitpick for me is I wish that they hadn't put the word forever in there. Um, it is okay, but I just, I wish it had just been a flat front. Um, it's just It's just a personal nitpick for me. I don't love the forever there but it is what it is. Uh, great bat details here on the side. Again, I really like it. This is kind of reminiscent to me a little bit of that old Michael Keaton Sideshow premium format they did years and years ago, um, but I really like this base. Uh, of course, it has the logo in the back, which I always like that Prime One does that. They always do such a great job. Um, this is a really great piece. Now, this is going to be 38 inches tall, guys, 38 inches tall because this base is so big. Um, it is really going to be an, an impressive piece in your collection. Look how great the Bat Cave floor looks. I really like this base a lot. Again, other than that forever, that's just something that kind of bothers me just a little bit here. Um, but from top to bottom, I really think the likeness is there. I think the pose is fantastic. It's just kind of stoic. Uh, it is museum pose, but still, it's just really iconic looking. And there you can see kind of his knee up a little bit. But again, I'm really sold with the regular. And again, we don't know the price point yet on the regular but we do on the deluxe, and this is the deluxe right here. Now, originally in their video, I think that maybe they had this on the back side of the base somehow, um, but they decided to go in a completely different direction and make it a proximity piece with all of the 
bat gadget. So this is a gadget wall. And I think this is absolutely fantastic. I really like it. 49 centimeters tall. Um, that ends up being about close to 20 inches, not quite 20 inches tall. Um, but it's going to be a pretty good size footprint here as a proximity piece. Um, some people have already said in the mass message boards that they don't love this or they don't think it's going to mesh well with the piece. I think it will. I think it'll look really good together. Uh, really low profile here. So you're not going to have to worry about depth at all. Um, it just looks fantastic to me. I like the front. I like the back. Um, I really, really like the cowl uh, in the front, and we're going to see that here in just a moment. Um, it also has some other swap outs. We're going to talk about that as well, but let me look at that. Look at that cowl. It just looks so great. Um, so the price point on this, so for the gadget wall and the statue itself, $1,699. I know a lot of you are swallowing really hard right now. Um, the prices continue to go up. Is it worth it for this deluxe, ultimate deluxe version? That's going to be hard to say because I am really curious on that regular price point. Uh, I do think that that price point is going to be, if you look at this, I think that the price point is going to be around $1,200, $1,300 for the statue by itself. Again, this is just a prediction. Uh, Prime One has not released that information as of the recording of this. Uh, but again, $1,699 for the Ultimate Deluxe. Uh, what do you guys think about that? I'm curious as to what you think about that price point. Obviously, you're getting a lot of extra detail here with the Deluxe, so for me, it might be worth it because I really do like this wall. I think it's really cool, and it does help tell the story. It's got all of his back gadgets, and I just think it's a really cool thing that Prime One has done here. So for me, it is what it is. Would you pay that extra price? I'm curious. Um, you do have the regular fist, you have the batarang, and also the grapple. Those extra two um, arm swap outs uh, or hand swap outs are part of the ultimate as well. So you do have to can take that in consideration. It's not just the wall, it's also those two extra swap outs. Um, and it does look cool. It looks cool to have the batarang, especially for me. I think the batarang looks really great, and so does the grapple, quite frankly. Um, both of them are really impressive. Um, this is supposed to <laughs> supposed to ship uh, well first of all there they are together again it looks really great together uh, this is supposed to ship November of 2022 to February of 2023 with the way things are going expect them to be delayed even more than that probably um, there is a bonus part with the Batman forever now I do like this logo it, it might not be for everybody to put it in front of the statue again I, I you know what I said earlier about the forever I don't really love that but I think this looks better obviously than that does um, you can place it right in front of that if that does bother you. Uh, I do think that this makes it look a little bit more professional, a little bit more finished. But again, that is a store part that you can get at the Prime One store. I will put the link down below. Uh, if you do click that link, it does help support the channel. So thank you guys for that. Um, but overall, I do think that this is a phenomenal looking statue. It is really well done. Very movie accurate. You're getting a lot of bells and whistles with the ultimate version. Um, I, I just I really like that wall a lot, and I think the statue looks you know really quite fantastic, really fantastic. So there you guys have it. What did you think of the Batman piece from Prime One Studio? I think it is really cool that Batman wall that armory, if you will. I think that is very, very different. I don't think anybody's ever done anything quite like that. Uh, maybe Hot Toys, if you consider the uh, Dark Knight armory. I don't know. It's just really cool. I think it's a really cool deal. Um, the bonus part with the nameplate, it's hit or miss for me. Um, if you really don't want that in front of your statue, that's great. You don't have to worry about it. But if you do like it, then go ahead and order. You know, I think that's a cool add-on if you like it. But I do really like the wall of armor. I think that is really cool with all the bat gadgets. Really neat, really unique from Prime One Studio. I didn't see that one coming at all. And so, again, the whole statue for me is a big hit. I would have preferred it to be Michael Keaton Batman in that pose. I think that could have been incredible. But this statue, this character is not done very often. So I tip my hat once again to Prime One for taking that on. I think this is going to be a very popular piece for them. What do you guys think about it though? I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Is this one that you're gonna be picking up? Do you like it? Is there something you would tweak about it? Or you're like me, you wish it was the Michael Keaton version. But again, Val Kilmer, awesome Batman. I don't think he gets enough praise you know, in the community, but 
It is what it is. I think it's a phenomenal statue. Big hit for me, but I do want to know your thoughts down below. Hey, if this is your first time watching though, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, make sure you choose all. And if you want to take it one step further, consider hitting the join button down below for early access to these videos, other Batman perks, and of course, bat boxes as well. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you guys so very much for supporting the channel. I love you guys. You're all amazing. I can't do this without you. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you right here in the back cave bye everybody hey guys thank you so very much for watching today and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos I think you're going to love them and also please join us on social media Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun thank you guys so very much for watching see you in the back cave